Hi, and thank you for tuning in. Um, it's my episode number one uh, of Hair Myth Busters show. I decided to bring some value into my content. I decided to share with you some knowledge and some stuff I'll have to experiment myself. There's a lot of rumors, there's a lot of myth, there's a lot of facts out there. Uh, we have heard over the years that olive oil is good for the hair. We've heard it from our mum, our grandparents, and other generation and generations uh, is uh, plugging your white hair. Does it really come out three times the, the amount when you plug it? Uh, that's basically, we hear it all the time, don't plug your white hair out. Uh, and there's tons and tons of them. So please, if you do have any things you've heard, anything you'd like me to try, because I'm happy if something I don't know the answer, is to try it on myself. And I promise you the contents uh, and, the, and, and, and the facts are going to do it, not how my hair is going to feel afterwards. I'm here to bring you scientifically why does it work, why should it work, why it shouldn't. Uh, so I do have uh, two emails. Uh, uh, it's thanks to Joe's D and Mary, where they basically sent me uh, uh, two, two separate emails, but both of them was over uh, or about eggs is having an egg treatment is it good for your hair is it going to be or is the egg is so if you really wanted to find out just hang out with me a few minutes and i will get back to you with the answer fix all them garment recipes from the betty crocker cookbook Make barbecue and coleslaw When me and my buddies get together to watch football. Okay, the bottom line is when it comes to an egg An egg comes in a three, well not two parts, three different parts You have the shell, uh, then you have the egg whites and then you have the yolk So it depends on what part of your hair are, you are treating uh, I've got two good news for you Mary and Jody That's the actually egg yolk and egg white are both good for the hair however it depends like i said on what part of the hair you are planning to treat um, if you are using the yolk or if you are using uh, the white part of the eggs the white part of the eggs is full of protein it does have a lot of vitamins as well in it it does can uh, contain quite a uh, quite a good amount of vitamin a b c and d um, However, the yolk part, it just it contains more of the vitamins in it. So the most nutrition part is in the yellow part, not the white part. Uh, the white part, it contains, like I said, high amount of protein through it. So a few things, uh, what covers, um, uh, let's, let's, let's go over the, the, the egg whites uh, part of it. Uh, the good thing about it, it's... it's um, the, the vitamin A, it's pretty much what they claim, which basically it's been studied proved, that it does make your hair grow faster. However, it depends on how much are you per, 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 per milligrams. Uh, it does have a vitamin A for it to make the hair grow faster. It doesn't have enough to actually do so. Uh, I mean, it's got tiny bit. Um, in it, but it's not enough to actually cause that rapid hair growth. Um, the vitamin D, it's actually, this is the most important, that's what really interests me, it's actually worked perfectly on your hair follicles. And to me, a lot of people ignore that. Uh, to me, this is the most important thing because the healthier your hair follicles are, which this is basically the roots of the hair, the healthier your hair is gonna become eventually. So patient is the key. If you decided to go through that road, look, what I talk about, I mean, it depends, you need the stomach uh, to put this on your hair. Not many people are willing to crack an egg and put it on their head. And whatever I'm saying here, I'm just literally talking about facts and myth and what it works, what it doesn't. It does not mean I'm recommending you going home, crack an egg in the bowl and whack it on your hair. Uh, when it comes into vitamin B, 
vitamin B in the yellow part it contains a lot more and that's actually and this one start to get a bit more technical uh, if you do have a fine hair no I don't recommend it because it will make your hair feels a lot limpier a lot more heavier and that's where you need to balance it with apple cider vinegar uh, just to make sure that uh, that your hair is not getting too heavy uh, the most important uh, issue I have is when it gets into the egg whites is I don't want anybody to over protein your hair all right and I'll repeat that again and please take that really seriously I don't like anybody over protein their hair what does that mean it come into a stage with certain uh, hair type where say for, for example I'll just put it into into categories so somebody with very very overly bleached hair so if you use the egg yolk on itself that's great if you use the egg white and, and I'm not talking this is going to happen over one or two treatments uh, because like I mentioned before if you remember I said the egg whites contains uh, a lot of um, protein in, 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 into the hair so um, there's a certain amount of protein your hair can take all right so anything more than nine grams of protein and I've never actually seen uh, hair shampoo conditioner contain more than that actually in them so if you have any more than that in any type of products what will happen is too much protein in the hair it will start and meant to be strengthening the hair and it does strengthen the hair but when you strengthen the hair so much it will become quite brittle it will cause it to snap a lot easier uh, because it will just make it way way too hard so you won't be able to to comb it or brush it properly and that uh, concerns me by people not knowing the limit when they should uh, uh, use it when they shouldn't like I said it's nothing you should worry about over one two or three treatments or so but if something is just used on a long term that actually could do the reverse for your hair uh, so that's sort of like a bit concerned me so when it comes into um, uh, really uh, using egg on uh, hair is that good or not I must give it a big applause that egg actually is good for your hair so you can use it if it's used correctly and you're using the right part and knowing what um, uh, how to use it and what to mix it with. I don't want to complicate the first episode by uh, using all those uh, different remedies what you can mix with the egg. We're talking about the egg directly now and here. So yeah, if the shell goes in, in, in the bin and the white part, the yellow part does two different parts. And one thing before I forget, when we talk about treating your hair, it's, it makes a great treatment for dandruff people dandruff calls normally from this overly oily hair uh, I'm not talking about dry scalp I'm talking about oil in here so uh, it does help for uh, uh, cases of dandruff so egg I'll give it a thumbs up thank you so much guys for tuning in uh, and remember you have the cues I have the A's we've got the next episode we should be talking about vodka uh, with hair, I had a question and email, so I'm gonna do all my research. So please shoot me any email you want or anything you want me to test, and hopefully, I'll catch you on episode number two. Thank you. Well, if you want my love, darling, you don't have to be pretty. You ain't gotta have a great big chest or a waist that's a little itty bitty. You don't have to have skin as soft as mud. Like Roberts or Ashley Judd